Hi there, I'm Chef Eric Crowley, owner of the Culinary Classroom in West Los Angeles, and today I'm going to discuss knife storage. There are many different ways to store a knife. Uh, the ubiquitous wooden block is a really great way to store, although it will require some counter space. Uh, some people like to procure something like this uh, magnetic knife bar where you could actually take your knife and you can store it on a magnet, either vertically or horizontally. That's a great way to store as well. That's also really great. You can mount it up uh, at a really uh, in, uh, increased height. So if you have small children, you don't have to worry about them getting uh, close to the knife. Uh, you can also store it in a, a basic kitchen drawer, although if you are going to do that, you never want to store the knife bare, just like this. The knife going into the drawer like this, as you, the drawer gets open and closed, the knife is going to bang all around. It's really bad for the edge. And if you have a guest that comes over and they don't know about the knife storage uh, in the drawer and they reach their hand in there, they run the risk of cutting their hand. A couple of uh, great ways to store a knife in a drawer are a plastic clamshell holder like this. You can buy this at a place like Smart and Final or any uh, uh, restaurant supply shop like Sur La Table or Surface over in Culver City. Uh, it basically opens up like a clamshell. The knife goes into the plastic container and clamp it on down like that. These little rubber guards actually pinch against the blade so the blade doesn't move around inside the guard and this is great to keep in a drawer. Another item is this very thin U-shaped plastic sheath where the knife basically gets set inside like that and that'll be totally fine to go inside a drawer. The knife can move on around and the edge is not going to get damaged and you don't have to worry about any uh, hand cutting. And that is knife storage. Thanks again for watching. Be sure to subscribe so you can get some additional information. If there's a recipe that you would like to see me make, feel free to send an email to requests at mahalo.com. Thanks again and I'll see you soon.